So, let's start from what we both know. We both know that there is a dead body. And we both know that at some point, you were in the room where the body was found. Not only were your fingerprints found at the scene, but I got a witness ready to testify that she saw you running out of the room with a gun in your hand. I don't care what you can produce, who you can produce, because what we both know is that you're looking for someone to pin this murder on, and that someone will not be me. I'll die at thirst first before I give you any of my DNA for your ass to do as you wish with. See? That's why you're wrong. Right there. You think you're so smart. You're ahead of everybody. Do you really think that a high-priced lawyer is gonna walk his ass in here to save you? I send people like you to jail every motherfucking day. People like me, huh? Yes, sweetie. You'll be nothing but a joke over a few beers for me when I'm done with you. Let me tell you something, a little bit about Danielle. I was raised the oldest of five kids, five. My mother was a seamstress. My father was a drill sergeant in the army. That man was so abusive because not only did he like to drink, but he loved abusing us more. So every time he put his hands on my mother or my siblings, I fought him until I couldn't fight no more. And I left my siblings to go and fend for themselves. I went on to go to school and I obtained a master's degree. Yeah, I got a master's, people like me. And there I met and married a man just like my dad, a military man, an abusive man, a man so abusive that this man beat me into a coma in front of our two kids. But by the grace of God, he spared me. He got me out of that situation. Only for my dumb ass to go on and fall in love with the next best worst thing that came along. He was tall, he was dark, he was handsome. A drug dealer, a drug user. Can you believe it? Let me guess you lost your kids to the system. That's right. So, if you feel you need to do whatever you need to do to get this justice, trust me, I can relate to it. Everything's gonna be all right. Be all right, be all right. Could you right. stop singing that damn song? Why? Cause you getting on my damn nerves singing about some everything gonna be all right. Well, it is. I'm gonna sing her damn song. She's not bothering nobody. She bothering me. You're just evil. <laughs> Ain't got shit to do with evil, but every bit of you getting on my damn nerves. And you don't think that you're a pain in the ass? No. She thinks she's God's gift to the world. And if I was God's gift to the world, do you think I'd be down here homeless with you bitches? Like any one of us wants to be down here. Everything is gonna be all right. Shut the fuck up! Don't you go out there. Make the world a better place. The world don't give a fuck about you or me. I guess the world gave a fuck about something that you came in here with some food. You don't know what I did to get this food. I believe that God is gonna turn this around for all of us. Now you keep putting all your confidence in your God while we down here dying day by day, one by one. We barely eating. We get to wash our ass maybe once or twice. You keep the faith. You dumb. Sabes que? All you do is chip, chip, chip away at other people's self-confianza. Life is not over for everyone. You may accept this shit for how your story may end, but we don't. It's called self-confidence, darling. Get you some. I don't control that. Hey, did Mr. Waterman come here yet? No, not yet. Now, I wish he hurry up, though, because um, I think my period is coming on, and uh, I straight ran out of tampons. Oh, mine's too. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen, you know what? I think we should rob him. 
Rob who? Mr. Waterman? Yes, Mr. Waterman. I think we should rob him. You sound real stupid right now. No, I don't. I sound real smart. No. Mr. Waterman is the only one that cares about us. I mean, he he gives us a few dollars here and there, he buys us food, and he makes sure that Make we sure that we what? Have deodorant? Listen, last week I overheard him on the phone talking about he get paid today. That doesn't mean he's going to walk up in here with a pocket full of money. Yeah, what if he comes up in here with a check? How are you going to cash that, idiot? Why? Why do you want to do this to someone who makes sure that you're good? Someone that makes sure we're all good? It's the way of the world, darling. God don't like this. And I don't see God in no rush trying to bring us up out of this either. Yeah, she's right on this. Not you, too. This is wrong. You know you can leave right before he come, right? I can't. Jail ain't for me. Shit. There's food in jail. Heat in jail and um, opportunity in jail. Opportunidad? Opportunity for what? To get raped again? Uh -uh. How are we gonna turn this around? We're dying out here. Who in the hell is gonna hire us? That's it. We're stuck. To do this shit, stuck will be the least of our worries. Shit, I'm a veteran. And when I was on my feet, I couldn't find no good work. But you don't hear me doing some dumb shit. Anyway, if we do this right, we can get us some new clothes, we can get our hair done, and who knows whatever else. I can't believe that this is still up for discussion. Y'all don't think that someone could get hurt or killed doing this shit? And I knew we'd see eye to eye. This is wrong. Do you see any other chance of us getting our hands on some money? What's your plan? Hey, what's my plan? Yes, your plan. My plan is to take everything he got. I'm going in his wallet, I'm going in his pockets, up under his hat, Wherever he hides it, I'm taking it. That's my plan. What kind of goddamn plan is that? Who are you? Who am I? I'm motherfucking tired is who I am. I'm tired of wondering if I'm gonna eat the next fucking day. I'm tired of wondering if I'm ever gonna have a warm place to stay. That's who the fuck I am. And you don't think that we're all tired? You think that we're all just laying around here plotting on how we can make it go from bad to worse? Well, I'm not interested of it getting any worse than this. I'm not in it. This whole plan that you, that you cooked up, it's crazy. And it could end up getting someone killed. Look, Mr. Waterman has done nothing but be there for us. And how are you gonna go out there and get money, huh? What that foolishness gotta do with this? Cause she ain't no angel. And I ain't no prostitute neither. <laughs> I bet you very close to it. <laughs> And catch something, nasty fucker? No, no, no. Ladies, let's save all this aggression and all this energy for later when we'll need it. It's not happening. Oh, yes, the fuck it is. No, it's not. I'm getting my stuff. I'm getting it. Where you gonna go? Yeah, where you gonna go? I don't know. But this place here, this is not for me. <laughs> yeah, where you gonna go? You gonna go to your main friend? He don't want you. He has a family. You was just his side piece. Talk all you want. Because this is the last time that you'll see me. You know what? You talk about God doesn't like this and God doesn't like that. But you gave that man an STD that he took straight home to his wife. Fuck you, Liz. I told him the first time that we had sex for him to use protection. He knew what I was living with. He decided to have sex anyway. You could have gotten up. Yeah, he could have walked away. So I'm supposed to cry for his wife? I'm supposed to care more about him than he cares about himself? You could have stopped. Stopped what? Look, if it wasn't me, it would have been somebody else that he spends his money on. You think I'm the only person that he pays to have sex? Shit. You know what? We can use this. When is the last time you had sex with him? You're getting too far out of pocket with this shit oh, right now. Shut your fucking mouth. 
When is the last time you had sex with him? Why? Because we can use this with Waterman. Use this how? She can say that Waterman raped her, and we can use that as an alibi when the time comes. You sound real stupid. No, I don't. Do you still have your sword? You're not getting it. I don't need it. Just make it accessible. Do you still have your razor? I sure do. Huh. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I'm gonna read about y'all. Read about us, because you're not going anywhere. You are an important part to this whole thing. And I already told you that I am not I'm gonna tell you what you're not gonna do. You're not leaving. Now sit your fucking ass down somewhere. Listen, just explain to me what you know for sure happened that day. And maybe, maybe I'll give you a chance. I can't tell you what I don't know. What I can tell you is this shit that you got here, it's wrong. I ain't never seen Danielle with nobody's property. I ain't never seen Danielle with no gun. And if you got witnesses that say they seen her run out of there, it's a joke. What do you have to gain for sticking up by her? Huh? Why today, out of all days, you decide to be honest? What are you, 25, 26, with a mental capacity of a 15-year-old? You never met your mother, which is a terrible thing, and your father never gave a shit about you. And they led to the same shit over and over again of you looking for men to get the love that your father never gave you. That's not true. Oh, yes. That shit is. Your heart is so full of anger that I believe it's you that committed the murder. That's not true. My father loved me. And if I hate men, it's, it's because, it's because they took him away from me. I swear to God, I didn't kill nobody. Being raised in a Christian household by your sister doesn't exclude you from being an accessory to murder. I didn't do it. Vaughn didn't do it. Who the fuck is Vaughn? Vaughn is my friend. I mean, I mean, Vaughn talks to me, and not in my head either. Look, if anybody can tell you, Vaughn can tell you what happened that morning that you keep asking about. Where does he live? He's around. Well, until he comes around, I guess you're gonna stay here. You understand me? Yeah. Good. So this is where we're going with it, huh? You're fucking crazy. No, what she is is a fucking genius. When you had sex with him, was it vaginal only? You know what? I'm walking out this door right now. When you shoot me, what's gonna be your alibi then? See, what y'all fail to realize is that if she'll shoot me, she won't hesitate to shoot either one of you, if need be. Ladies, anybody here? I'll get it. We're not doing this shit. This is fuck. Hey, hey, hey. How are we all doing today? I got some extra stuff today. Sorry that I'm late. I have to run across town to get some goodies, but I finally got them. I know you shouldn't have did that. You shouldn't be doing all this running around. You're gonna kill yourself for people who don't even appreciate you. It's okay. Like I always say, when you do good to people, eventually the blessings will come back to you. I wonder how we can return the favor to you and coming here and being a blessing to us. It's okay, you don't gotta pay me back. If I was down to my last $20, I would make sure that each of you woke away with something. Are you down to your last hundred? I don't want to discuss that. I wouldn't want y'all to think that I was gloating over what I have. No, 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 no. You're not gloating. It's a blessing that you're still able to give. I'm not... I want to understand when the day people understand that givers can get tired too. I'm sure they do. Because all takers do is take, take, take. 
Speaking of taking, let me run to my car real quick and get one more thing. Touching story. It does us no good. I haven't witnessed or committed no murder. Who said anything about witnessing or committing a murder? Who in their right mind would believe this testimony? Let alone read a statement from a drugged up two bid whore from the projects. That's the clean version. I fell on hard times. I got addicted to painkillers. Say hi. I want to hear all that. Listen, you need to tell us something. It's not like you've ever been a leader. Not one day in your life. Now you're always the follower. Now you're about to follow your ass with Danielle the gym. Stop. Stop my ass. Listen, we found every single one of y'all's fingerprints in both back rooms of that supermarket. So explain the fingerprints in the stock room. Fingerprints in the bathroom? Sounds like an open and shut murder case to me. I can explain, but first I... But, 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 but first what? Not getting no lawyer? And who in their right mind would ever represent y'all's asses? And they're only taking cases they know they can win. Yeah, out of luck. We washed up there. <laughs> yeah, okay. So now would be a great time to come clean. Put your parole violating ass down. You know this is some bullshit, right? We don't know a damn thing. What we do know is that your ass and your little cohorts all guilty. Now what you need to figure out is if you want to talk first. You shit to talk about. I don't know nothing. They don't know nothing. You don't have nothing. You the worst kind of woman. No, we ain't do this shit. But your old ass got a pin on somebody, right? Yeah, okay. It's the last time you had a long, hot shower. It's the last time a man even looked at you for anything other than a quick fuck. You want me to jump over this table oh, and smack the shit out of you, oh, right? Oh, so I you can arrest me for yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I wish you would. I would love to see that. I say do it. So I can spend the next few hours watching yourself on the floor picking your teeth up. Go ahead. Two of you are clowns. Yeah. Who the fucking mastermind? Paul Waterman. If only you knew earlier the shit he got himself into. And where do we find Liz? <laughs> Coming very concerned the way that you're running this place. You got these young girls recruiting for you. I just want to know when they're going to stop breathing. Breathing? <laughs> That's so overrated. We both don't need you 
being concerned how I run things around here. You come here for your organs, and I get them for you. I just want this shit to be untraceable. Traceable? When have you found it priority for anybody to care about some missing black man? This world don't give two fucks about dead, kidnapped black men. And you do? You do? This is coming from a man that murders and slaughters. I just want you to run this shit tight or what? Hey, hey, hey! Quarter me! That one there is mine! But I want some! Would you stop it with the voice? She's unconscious! You're home now! This is kind of bullshit we running now! There's no rape. This is my recruit. Liz belongs to me. You guys can take this shit outside and take care of that some other time. There's a market out there for healthy kidneys. If you can't get it for me, I can find somebody else that can. Oh, really? You know what stops the world in its tracks? And get continuous news coverage until something turns up? What? A missing white woman. Yeah. But you know what yeah. comes close second? Do tell. Anyone murdered in law enforcement. Paco! Talk to me. Get L Lieutenant Rivera here what he came for. Would you like for me to show you out? He's gotta go. Say the word, Rakin. Say the word, Rakin. In due time. In due time. What's up? What the fuck is this? Is this your idea of some kind of fucking joke? Cause I don't appreciate you having me running around the city looking for Liz. For Liz? I went to every address on here. Not one sign of Liz. Nothing. Listen, I gave you just what the fuck I had. She frequent all of these places. That's funny you should say that. What the fuck is so funny? What's so funny is that everyone that I've spoken to today oh, see has it. never seen Liz. But they can accurately describe a woman that looks just like you. Hold oh, on, player. I know where I've been. <laughs> Limp, fucked up hair and all. Listen, let me set you straight. You concerned with my fucked up hair and my fucked up walk? My friend is missing. So it's either you gonna help me find her or you not. When's the last time you saw Liz? The same last time you saw her. Well, she doesn't talk to me like she talks to you. You know how you two do. How we do? We don't have no secrets. And besides, I haven't seen Liz moving differently. Well, I have. Fuck you mean you have. I've seen her move different. I would also like to see you share a little bit of your secrets with me. We ain't got no secrets. Waterman? What the fuck about Waterman? It was your idea to rob him in the first place. But at first, Liz was against it. And all of a sudden, you throw some more fucking bullshit in the air. And she's with it? Son, what's your point? Where you going with this, Ziamata? Remember when Liz said, You don't know what I did to get this food. What does that have to do with us finding Liz right now? What I'm trying to say is, you find Waterman, we find Liz. That makes no sense. Hi. Was I the only one to pay attention that day? When Liz came in bearing gifts, she had the exact same bags that Waterman had. So wait, you trying to tell me that Liz been running around town with Waterman behind our backs? No, behind your back. Cause she don't fuck with me and Robin like that. Where could this little witch be? You know what? I know how we can swing this in our favor. Come go with me and we gonna make this happen. The fuck, you giving me a head start? No, but fucking with you? I need to know where I'm going and how much jail time we may be facing. Okay. <laughs>